So uh, we've learned how to factorize difference of two squares. Uh, for example, something like x squared minus 25, x minus 5 times x plus 5. But how we factorize if we have quadratic trinomial? For example, and if how we factorize if we have expression, let's say x squared minus, uh, let's say x squared plus 7x plus 12. This is called quadratic trinomial. Why trinomial? Because it has three terms. How do you spell Quadratic. Quadratic because we have x squared. Trinomial because we have three terms. And that's our learning intention today, to learn how to factorize this expression. What's yes. after the O? Oh, M. M. Trinomial. And what's the other word? Quadratic. And we look in this year in the factorizing only so-called monic quadratic. Monic means in front of x squared there is no number. Later on you will learn how to factorize if there is like 3x squared or 5x squared or something like that. Now we're learning only if just 1x squared. And the technique to factorize it based on so-called uh, Vieta's theorem, we don't need to know about this name, but technique is the next. We look on these two numbers, 7 and 12, and we need to find two numbers which multiplies to 12 and adds up to 7. So we need to find two numbers which multi when we multiply them, result will be 12 and we add them, we'll get number in front of x. And those numbers three are four. 3 and 4. So we have 3 times 4 equals 12, 3 plus 4 equals 7. That means this factorizes to x plus 3 times x plus 4. How we can check that we factorize correctly? How we can check it? Yes? Um, just do it next time. We expand it back. And if we expand this, we will get this expression. So, to factorize quadratic trinomial, we are looking for two numbers which multiplies to the constant term and adds up to the coefficient of x. Another example, let's say x squared plus 7x plus 10. Which two numbers multiplies to 10 and adds up to 7? Yes, Dale. 2 and 5. 2 and 5. So what this factorizes to? x plus 2 times x times 5. x plus 2 times x plus 5. Because 2 times 10, 2 times 5 equals 10, 2 plus 5 equals 7. which ones are times and which ones are times? They multiply to the constant term and adds to the coefficient in front of x. No. Another example, another example, if we have x squared minus x minus 6. So we're looking for two numbers which multiplies to negative 6 and adds up to negative 1. Because they multiply to negative number, what does it tell us about those two numbers? Um, one of them. They have to be negative, one of them at least. Not at least. 
If they both will be negative, negative and negative, this will be positive. Oh, yes. I thought you were talking about the one. But they are, to get negative 6, one, of them is negative. one negative, one positive. So, and the same numbers need adds up to minus 1. What are those numbers? Yes. Minus, minus 3 and positive 2. Negative 3 and positive 2. Negative 3 times 2 equals negative 6. Negative 3 plus 2 equals negative 1. To get minus 6, if we multiply negative 3 by 2, negative 6, negative 3 plus 2, negative 1. That means this expression factorizes to x minus 3 times x plus 2. Make sense? Yes. yes. You need to find two numbers which multiply to the last and adds up to coefficient of x. What is the coefficient of x here? One. Negative, Negative one. 1. Another example. Another example. If we have x squared uh, minus 3x minus 10. We need to find two numbers which multiplies to negative 10 and adds to negative 3. Any idea what those numbers can be? Multiplies to negative 10 and adds up to negative 3. Yes, Bill? Um, negative 5 and 2. Negative 5 and positive 2, yes. Negative 5 times 2 equals, equals negative 10. Negative 5, negative 5 plus 2 equals negative 3. So, what this factorizes to? Um, negative. x minus 5 times x plus 2. Another example. x squared minus 5x plus 4. We're looking for two numbers which multiplies to 4 and adds up to negative 5. As they multiply to positive number and adds up to negative number, what we can say about those two numbers? They both negatives. Because negative times negative will give you positive. Negative plus negative will give you negative. So what are those two numbers which multiplies to positive 4 adds up to negative 5? Anybody else except? Yes? Um, negative 4 times negative 1. Negative 4 and negative 1. So we have negative 4 times negative 1 equals positive 4. Negative 4 plus negative 1 equals negative 5. So this factorizes to x minus 1 times x minus 4. Make sense? Yes. Why are the ones to the like, left, is it x minus 5 and then x plus 2, but on the one to the right they're both minus? Because in this case, we have those numbers multiplied to positive. And if negative times positive is negative. So they both has to be negative to multiply to positive. And they add negative plus negative is negative. Uh, one more example. X squared plus 5x minus negative uh, <coughs> minus 24 x squared plus 5x minus 24 which two numbers multiplies to negative 24 and adds up to 5 which two numbers multiplies to negative 24 and adds to 5? 
Five and six does not multiply to twenty four. Yes. Negative eight and three multiplies to negative twenty four, but will negative eight and three adds to positive five? Eight and negative three. Eight times negative three is four, negative 24, 8 plus negative 3 is positive 5. So this factorizes to x minus 3 times x plus 8. Okay, that's all about this technique. Uh, like, subscribe and donate to help fight terrorist countries and organizations. <coughs> support Ukraine and Israel.